Christian parent or even a non-Christian parent that really struggles with the concept of how do I deal with the subject of Santa Claus? We're going to talk about that in today's video. Hey guys, and welcome back to God's Word Made Simple by Simple Servant Ministries. My name is Aaron Hawk, and if this is your first time visiting with us, I just want to say welcome and thank you for joining us today. God's Word Made Simple is an online discipleship ministry dedicated to taking God's Word and making it simple. We want to help you understand God's Word, apply it to your life, and grow in your relationship with the Lord. And by the way, if you appreciate this ministry and content, at some point make sure and hit that subscribe button, turn that bell notification to all so you don't miss any future videos. We would love to have you as part of our family. Okay guys, so today's video is going to be really short. Um, honestly, I would love to just upload the video that I did last year and just put it as today's video because I really put some thought into last year's video and I feel like I covered it fairly well. So I'm going to provide a super quick summary of some of my thoughts. I haven't gone back and watched last year's video or anything like that, um, but I'm going to provide a super quick summary of my quick thoughts, but mostly I'm going to point you to last year's video. So please go watch that video if this is a subject that you're struggling with. I really spent a good bit of time on that video last year and I would just encourage you to check that out so that you can get a full explanation since today I'm just doing a super quick summary. So as a Christian there are a couple of issues. One is the issue of conscience and lying versus fantasy. That's a whole issue by itself. I cover that in that video. You know another issue is the parallels between teaching children about Santa Claus which we know is not true in the way that most Americans think of Santa Claus. There was a historical figure, St. Nicholas, whole different story, I cover that in the video as well. But there is a serious issue that you run into when you're teaching your children about a Santa Claus who can be all over the world in one night, sees you when you're sleeping, knows when you're awake, knows if you've been naughty or good, or naughty or, yeah, nice, naughty or nice, and all that. I can't talk today, apparently. Um, so you can't see him, you have no idea where he is, and so on. And then you want to teach your children as a Christian about Jesus, who you also can't see, who also knows if you've been naughty or nice and all of that. Like, how do you differentiate that between your kids, right, or for your kids? Again, I talk about that in last year's video, so please go watch that video. Um, and then, of course, just the general cultural question about how do you interact, and then if you choose not to teach your children about Santa, how do you deal with the fact that the majority of Americans, including Christians, do? How do you handle that? That's what I talked about last year, and again, instead of rehashing everything, I, I really put that video together carefully, so please don't hate me for just doing a super short video where I basically say, hey, go watch last year's video, but hey, go watch last year's video. Next year, I will probably do a sequel to that video and go, go more in depth. Guys, as always, if you appreciate this, hit like, subscribe, turn that bell notification to all so you don't miss any future videos. Go check out last year's video. And that is it for today, guys. Again, please don't hate on me. Uh, you understand how crazy this year has been, and I just uh, am counting on you to be understanding. All right, guys, thank you very much, and God bless.